let's meet our first contestant. He's an unemployed rocket mechanic who claims to have saved two galaxies, but most people know him as Secret Agent Clang's bumbling chauffeur. He hopes that disguising himself as a tyranoid will make him more attractive to the ladies. Hey, give a warm welcome to Ratchet! Ratchet will attempt to be the first contestant ever to survive the Death Force. Contestant number one, are you ready? Bring it on!
I don't believe it, folks! He survived the death course! And here to give you your prize, the lovely Miss Courtney Gears! How about that, folks? He is better looking! Do not be alarmed, Sasha. That is Ratchet. Oh, I see you won the terror guys. It's very convincing. Anyway, there's something I think the two of you need to see. Work personal log entry 101301. After I personally vanquished the protopet menace and revamped the Megacorp testing facility, I decided to focus my efforts on protecting the endangered creatures of the Florana jungle. But when news arrived that Dr. Nefarious had again risen to power, I knew where my true destiny lay. The training necessary to get back into tip-top shape has been exhausting, and my mind overflows with brilliant concepts. Do I still yearn for the bittersweet stench of my simian companions? Time has come to resume my duties as the greatest hero the galaxy has ever known! Captain Quark! You're not gonna believe this, but the President put Quark in charge of the fight against Nefarious. Our new commander just called his first team meeting. You better get back to the Phoenix right away. I agree. This does not sound good.
next week at the Florida Demolition Derby. Look at those speedy little eyes. He's got that thousand yard stare. This event is a time limit challenge.
championship material, folks. Ooh. 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 Okay, folks. Time to play Luck on the Draw. I'm now pulling a ticket to out of my hat. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
back any time to compete for cash prizes. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, and Helga, welcome to the Q-Force. You have been assembled here because each of you is an expert in your particular field. From Al's mastery of electronics to Skid's nerves of steel hey! to Helga's sensual powers of seduction. Each of you has shown that you are worthy to wear the Q. Years ago, I single-handedly defeated Dr. Nefarious, but like a rash on the galaxy's backside, he has flared up again. Our first mission will be to infiltrate the Doctor's top secret base on planet Aquatos. Impossible, you say? Perhaps for a lesser strategist? Behold, my brilliant plan! First, Ratchet and Clank will descend to the sea floor and wade through a series of tunnels flooded with waist-high raw sewage. What? Please hold your questions until the end of the presentation. After infiltrating the base, our agents will split up. Clank will enter the base's ventilation system where he will locate and deploy this banana-guided autonomous monkey device. Or the GAMD. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ratchet will use his extensive knowledge of the Tyranoid language and customs to win the trust of the bloodthirsty alien guards. Finally, our agents will make their way to Nefarious' personal office, steal everything that isn't nailed down, and exfiltrate the base completely undetected. That's crazy! But it just might work. Greedy. <laughs> I'm back in! What is it? Are we there yet? <laughs> I urgently need to know how the Quark vs. Nefarious Vid Comic series in. When are you going to play your new comic? If anybody finds a Star Master scientific calculator, please contact Lost and Found. Quark Comic Episode 2 Ariba Amoeba. A new evil was gathering in the shadowy swamps of Blackwater City. A horrific breed of monsters known as Amoeboids, born in the laboratories of a twisted scientist named Dr. Nefarious. To think, they called me insane, Lawrence. We'll see who's insane when my pets have exterminated all life on this miserable planet! Well, that should clear things right up, sir. When Captain Quark encountered the Amoeboids for the first time, he immediately executed emergency response plan number two. Hey, wait just a minute. Quark then proceeded to stall for time while he coordinated the city's defenses from the women's restroom at Galaxy Burger. Give me that thing, you lying no good. Oof! Right, now where were we? From the moment I touched down, I knew the situation called for a head-on assault without hesitation. I rushed to do heroic battle with the monstrous Amoeboid Horde. It's time to fight! <laughs> Alright, now for the fancy stuff. Press X while I'm in the air near a wall to see my awesome wall kick move. Barbecue!
His amoeboid army defeated, Dr. Nefarious had no choice but to flee Blackwater City in disgrace. You've not seen the last of me! I will have my vengeance if it takes a thousand years! <laughs> Dr. Nefarious was right about one thing. He and Quark would meet again, and sooner than he realized. For a true hero like Captain Quark will stop at nothing in the name of justice. <coughs> what? I held my breath!
Thank you.